Are power PCs still usable in 2018? Well, that's actually kind of a loaded question. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I almost forgot our sponsor. That's right, we have a sponsor. Who's our sponsor? Me! This video has been brought to you by The Fifth Colony, the first book in a trilogy by yours truly. The link is in the description. Please check it out. And I would love to hear from you if you do check it out because I worked super hard on it and it's been a super amazing journey. So go check out The Fifth Colony. Again, link is in the description. Now roll the intro. Okay, so I was going to split this up into a three-part series, but now I've kind of decided that the G4 and the G5 are similar enough that it could be a two-part series. So what I really wanted to do is I, I've noticed online that the G3s, the, the iMac G3s, the PowerBook G3s, and the iBook G3s are getting slower and slower as time goes on. I mean, they are 20 years old, but who's counting? Um, and so what I really wanted to do was kind of dive into the G3s and then dive into the G4s and G5s and show you the pros and cons of owning either and what they're like to own and if it's worth it in 2018 to use this as a primary computer. So, let's get started. So this is an iMac G3 from 1999. The specs are on the screen now. So, I apologize for the flickering, that's the CRT monitor, but if you were to get a G3 in 1999, you would be met with a screen like this. This is Mac OS 9.2.2. Now, believe it or not, since I got my new Wi-Fi router, I've not actually been able to access the internet in OS 9. I think it has something to do with the fact that it was 802.11b only and my Wi-Fi router supports BGN. But anyway, I mean, it is nice in the sense that if I click on something like Photoshop, <clears throat> you give it a second and it should just open right up, which it does. OS 9 was hands down the fastest power PC operating system. OS 10, I mean, don't get me wrong, they tried, but it just kept getting more and more and more bloated. This is very straightforward. You got your toolbar over here, you got your color gamma over here, and believe it or not, I can actually still use this. For video editing, we actually have Final Cut Pro 3, which surprisingly does not work and the reason why is we actually have to have um, a firewire connected camera and I don't I don't own one I, I don't have one at all I mean it comes up but but it doesn't work now I actually did have luck in iMovie the latest version of iMovie we can run is iMovie 2 and believe it or not I don't have any footage to edit on here because I'm shooting at 1080-60, but I took some standard def footage that I'd shot when I was a kid, and I actually was able to edit, render, and produce a standard definition video using this version of iMovie. For word processing, we have Office for Mac 2001, and as you can see, it actually doesn't look that much different from Office 2008. you still got your title bar over here and or not title bar but your uh, toolbar sorry over here and as you can see hello world 
It, I mean, it works. Whoa. Maybe it works too good. For the sake of being unbiased, I also installed Apple Works 6, um, which, as you can see, was an amazing program for its time. You had word processing, spreadsheets, databases, a paint app, a drawing app, and a presentation app. But you know me, I'm a writer. And as you can see, you've got a toolbar up here, kind of like Office 2001. This actually has a bunch of extra features like I can drop in a spreadsheet from Apple Works. If I'm not mistaken Office wouldn't get that till like 2011. You'd have to make an image and drop that in instead. But you know, once again as you can see it works and it works really nicely. It's it's fast, it's fluid, it's responsive. I can just hit a bunch of keys and as you can see Everything is just as responsive as if I am typing it. Okay, I'm going to stop playing now. Now, the subwoofers in this iMac specifically have actually blown out, so I can't play music on here to show you, but I just I wanted to show you how nice iTunes used to be. Um, let me get it open. iTunes used to just be intuitively simple. You had a library, a radio, and your music. That was it. And I'm amazed at just how beautifully simple iTunes really used to be. And for the record, it does work. I have a classic iPod, and I synced it right up. That's what this is. This is actually my music from my iPod. Um, QuickTime actually works. I can open up QuickTime Player, pop a DVD in here, and it will play the DVD. Um, another thing that actually worked that was really cool if I go into my applications is there was a version, I may have deleted it, but there, yeah, I deleted it, but there was a version of VLC Media Player on here. Um, I deleted it to have a little extra space. Um, if you have an older router, Clasilla Internet Browser actually does work, and it's relatively okay. I wouldn't recommend, I wouldn't recommend using this as a, as a, operating system anymore. The, the the applications are 20 years old. Obviously you want something a little bit more modern, which is where we're going to head to next. Now believe it or not, I installed Tiger to this machine and it was so horrible of an experience that I, I almost ended this video right there altogether with OS 9 until I went on the Mac Rumors forums and they suggested that I should try um, Mac OS 10.3.9 Panther. And so I was like, well, I mean, it's, it's only one OS lower. Let's give it a shot. And so that's what I did. And here's the results. So this is Panther. As you can see, it looks almost identical to Tiger. You wouldn't really know the difference, except for the colorful Apple logo up here. But as also you can see, for whatever strange reason, I can actually connect to the internet in Panther when I couldn't in Mac OS 9. So, one of the things that they recommended on the forum was to actually run Clasilla in classic mode on Panther. And so that's what I've been doing. And it's actually, it, it takes a while for, for this stuff to start up, but after... After Classic starts, Clasilla is really super fast on, on this machine. For it to be a 20-year-old machine and still be able to access the internet, not to mention play YouTube videos, yes, it can play YouTube videos, it's actually a superb machine. I'm going to spare you, oh, well, never mind, never mind, it's open. Um, 
what I do need to do though is kill the volume because I want to show you that YouTube videos actually run better on an iMac G3 running Panther than they would in I guess any other situation so let me do that real quick let me kill the volume because I really I really hate the sound of the subs it actually believe it or not it actually plays but um it's grainy and tinny because there's no bass so let me go to youtube.com as you can see, this is totally a web browser from the 90s. It's it's running, I believe, off of WebKit from the 90s. I could be wrong about that, though. It, it might be something completely different. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. What it does is it opens the mobile version of YouTube. And so I'm just going to randomly a video here you catch it you keep it from Jimmy Kimmel um, and if I hit watch video it opens QuickTime automatically I didn't use QuickTime enabler or anything like that and yes it's it's in a box a small box but the video plays which is really cool because you don't normally get that with a power PC. You don't get native YouTube playback without having to do some hacks, or at least you didn't used to. And that's, I mean, that's really neat. And as for this being a web browser, believe it or not, Classilla is actually pretty good. Let me, um, uh, google.com. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, let's shamelessly plug me for a minute. The fifth colony, Adam Caldwell, Google search. You may get those security alerts, just ignore them. And there's my book. And it loads that fast. It's not perfect, as you can see, but I mean it loads which is really neat so what else can panther do well believe it or not panther actually runs iMovie HD which means that believe it or not if I'm shooting at 1080p 30 frames per second which I could, I could get by doing but I'm not going to if I were though believe it or not I could actually edit video on this, albeit it would be extremely slow and cumbersome, but it's doable, is what I'm trying to tell you, on a 20-year-old machine. Um, I also have... Let me close out of iMovie. I also have Adobe Premiere on here. Um, Adobe Premiere 6.5, specifically, which can also edit HD video. Um, <clears throat> I couldn't find a version of Final Cut to work with this that wasn't already a classic app, so I went with Adobe Premiere instead. Um, and really, what it boils down to is when Final Cut Studio started getting popular, they switched to G4. Um, they kind of completely abandoned the G3, and for good reason. You can see how slow this is to load. But um, regardless, it's it's on here and after it loads I mean the render times are ridiculous but once again if I were in a pinch I could edit 720 by 480 which is 720p video and there you go I mean it's grayer than more, most modern video editors but it, it it's a video editor it would work so, how are we as far as Office apps? As far as Office goes, I actually snagged a gem on here. I snagged Microsoft Word, the Apple edition. Um, and what that was, was it was specifically for people who worked at Apple. And it's been, it's been said that it ran faster than the default Microsoft Office. Don't ask me why. 
but as you can see, it actually looks a little bit more like Apple Works. We've got a toolbar up here now. We've still got our toolbar right here like in uh, Office 2008, which I will show you on the G4. But, I mean, as you can see, it, it works. Um, I've also got PowerPoint and Excel on here. I just, I don't make many PowerPoints anymore um, since I'm out of school, or at least for the summer. Um, and I probably haven't made an Excel spreadsheet since the eighth grade, but it's on here. I mean, you know, it's good. Um, same as the other one, QuickTime Player plays movies. I actually do have VLC Media Player this time on here. I think that's why I got rid of it in the first place, is I found out that VLC works better on here. But, I mean, as you can see, as soon as it loads, um, and you could hit open file, open disk. It's just your run-of-the-mill VLC media player iTunes, same thing. I actually think this is the first version of iTunes that came with Tiger, if I'm not mistaken. Which I could be. Don't don't quote me on that. But, I mean, as you can see, it's more modern. You've got the iTunes store. None of this stuff works. Like, the radio doesn't work anymore. Podcasts, I think, works. I'm not subscribed to any. You cannot play TV shows. You cannot play movies. Believe it or not, you can't even access the iTunes store. But if you were having to get by for whatever reason, if you did not have any other computer, at least you could listen to music and browse the internet. So, should you run out and buy a G3 and use it solely as your main PC 20 years later? No. No, this is actually the first time I would recommend don't even use one of these unless you need it as a backup. Um, and the reason is, even though it will get you by, and even though Clasilla is the fastest internet browser I've ever used on a PowerPC, it, it's still not... It's still not as great as having a G4 or a G5. If you can get those, you can run Leopard and you get thousands of better apps and some are even still supported to this day like Rocket Web Browser. Um, I would not recommend using this for anything other than a museum piece. If you are a collector, yeah, click, click my eBay link. These things go for a pretty penny. I've actually thought about selling mine. I'm not going to, but I thought about it. Um, but yeah, this is this is the first time I would safely say don't don't use this unless you have to, um, because it's only going to edit 720p video. Um, you can type basic Word documents, and you can barely browse the web. It's really not worth it anymore. So next week, part two will come out, which will be my G4, G5 review in 2018, and I'll let you know, do they still hold up? roughly 13 years later? Hey, let's find out. Either way, this has been Adam. Take it easy.